Hey there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome back to the Gambler. Last episode, we got this uh, adventure into motion. Uh, here's a quick recap if uh, you guys uh, don't remember. Uh, last episode, Taylor messed up pretty mad gang bad gang mad uh, uh, customer and who turned out being the king, uh, obviously, but got mad at customer. He got suspended for, well, you know, telling this customer off and he kind of messed up bad, basically giving up on everything and ruined Blair's life to the point where Blair has returned to his old gambling addiction and lost everything. He ran off. We've tried to catch him, but he was gone and the only thing he left behind was his jacket. And, well, now we have to take this evil king down. We have to overthrow this king of the world. And thus, the gambler was born. Alright, so let's go do this. And it looks like uh, this game doesn't have a saving option. So I guess we're going to be saving here. So we're only going to be sa saving, basically, when uh, UB says it's time to save. So, well, let's begin. Uh, let's start off going this way, I guess. Hello. Hey, dude. Hey, you seen that one guy yet? Um, I'm him. Who? The twink, dumbass! That guy that boss asked for on the radio. Oh, him? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Alright, then, if you find him, let the boss know. Where is he? The boss? Probably in his office, taking a fat rest. Angry little twink slammed him pretty hard. Oh, I'll try it harder next time. Wait, why did you want to know that? Uh-oh. Actually, I ain't never seen you working here before. Uh-oh, I think uh, he's on to us. Wait a second. You're the twink, aren't you? You sneaky bastard. Well, I've been caught. All right, well, we're going to have to take you out then before uh, you basically let my secret out. Ooh. Did some good damage there, Taylor. Oh, yeah. They only do two points of damage, so we'll be fine. Bye-bye. Yeah, this is very reminiscent of uh, the Brains and the Brawn. I like this. My only problem I had with the first episode was that, well, it took me one hour to finally be able to save. Well, they're dead. Well, I had to kill them because they know my secret. Hi. Move. I need to see your boss. Who are you? Wait, I recognize that face. Hey, Taylor. Boss says you're weak and a coward. They certainly looked the part. You just have to try and sneak into our boss's office. Pathetic. No more games, Taylor. Give up. He's right. You really are a worthless rat. Well, I'll show you how worthless I am. Alright, we got a uh, Sally sign. Little Miss Butthole. She has a butthole, alright. And Willa Wine. And I'm gonna take out the butthole first. Okay, they all don't hit that bad. I'm okay with that. Goodbye, Little Miss Butthole. Don't come back. I like to imagine that uh, this Willow wine is just walking up to me and smacking me in the face with uh, a tray of wine. And Sally Sign obviously is being me out of her, well, you know, sign. <laughs> Goodbye, Sally Sign. Alright, Willow wine, it's doing me now. Awesome. Hey, Taylor One. And they're defeated. Nice. Hi. Let me see your boss. Who do you think you are? I am the guy that's going to give your boss a world of hurt. You pissed him off. Nobody does that for paying the price. I would like to have a respectful discussion with him. Around my fist would like to have a, a respectful discussion with him. You don't deserve respect, you scum. You assaulted a man for what? Rightfully telling you off? Well, you know, I beat him up because he ruined my friend's life and I think my friend may have uh, jumped off the cliff. You know who does that? Losers like you. Well, I'll show you who's a loser. I'll show you very well who the loser is here around here. It's not me, buddy. It's you, buckaroo. 
Goodbye, Chunk. Ah! <laughs> hey, boss. I found you. Am I going to take the hammer? Hiya! You still think you didn't need to be nice to me? Stop playing this game. I'll never stop playing. Everything that's happened up to this point is completely your own fault. None of this would have happened if you had just shut up and gotten me my jumbo dogs. Still didn't have to yell. My god. You're so entitled, aren't you? Oh, this ain't about uh, your jumbo dogs anymore, buddy, or me losing my job. This is about... This is about uh, basically stealing my, my friend's, uh, well, life savings. Are you really too much of a snowflake to handle anyone slightly raising their voice at you? Yeah! Take, take the hammer. Hmm. Can I tell you something? What? A very nice person named Blair taught me quite the valuable lesson. What? Who even is that? The person who basically gave you everything they got. People like you won't change. Yeah, right. Keep blaming me and see where that gets you, asshole. And just to make sure you don't mess with anyone else, I'm going to get rid of you. The police are coming. You'll be locked away and... They won't help. BAM! How does it feel? This is for disrespecting me. This is for getting me suspended. And this... Is for... Making... Blair... Leave. And for making Blair go... Go broke and... I think he's dead. We overthrew the king of the world. I thought we were actually going to have a boss fight. Oh, okay then. Oh, I can just leave. Goodness, what a mess. The World Grand Casino. Run by father and daughter since 2012. Not anymore. Father be dead. Can I put the hammer back? No? I'm taking it with me? Alright. Alright, cool. That didn't take too long to overthrow the king of the world. I'm still not in control, by the way. Oh, there's one more door. Oh. Oh, I gotta take out the daughter, too? Where's my dad? Uh, go to his office, you'll see. You work here, right? He told me he'd be here. Radio for him, please. Yeah, does it look like I'm, I really care? I kinda gone rogue here. The king feeds off the gambler. Well, I happen to be the gambler. Until the gambler bites back. You bitch! I wanted an answer, not a philosophy lesson. Where's my damn dad? Check his office. Or am I just going to kill her too? So you guys can be together in the dead, like in the world of the dead. We never found out what happened to Blair. Really? What? You call out for like three days in a row and when you finally get back, this is how you perform? Uh, I I'm sorry. You missed so many spots back there. Get back and queen them. It's ugly. How'd you even miss, miss them? I don't have the greatest vision. I'm sorry. I think I need glasses and I'm going to try to get them with my first paycheck. Well, you won't be getting a first paycheck if I fire you. Oh, this guy's an ass. 
Sorry, but even if you fire her, you still do have to pay her for the time she was here. Remember, you're replaceable. You need everyone but you can sweep a floor. I'm sorry, please don't fire me. I'll do better, I promise. Don't let me down again. You hear me? This boss is an ass. Can I overthrow him too? I won't. S sorry. Alright, there he goes. God, why does she have to be such an ass? What was that? N n nothing Oops, you heard me, didn't you? That's it, you're out of here! No, no, please! Nope, I'm done with you. You can't just do a poor job and then talk back to me for reprimanding you for it. Who do you think you are? Please, I really need this job. And I really need someone who can sweep a floor. We're kinda in the same boat here. And you can't even do that. Get out. Wow, I haven't even noticed her uh, the glasses, but I think that's actually Jean. So this is the story of how uh, Jean became, uh, well, the, you know, the ice cream queen and how the gamble works for her and everything. And I'm guessing boss here is about to die because, uh, doesn't Jean get those glasses? Get out. Please, I... No! I said get out. Please, just give me one more chance. Oh my god, I will call the cops on you if you don't get out right now. Get out of here right now, Jean. I, I was right. Wow, it is Jean. Get out of here right now, Jean. Or... Yeah, that works. Oh my god. D don't hurt me, please. Hurt you? I was right, this is the origin story of uh, the gambler and uh, Jean becoming the ice cream queen. Darling, I saved you. <laughs> Don't listen to this woman or anyone like her. Ever. You did your best. That's what matters. You see, people like her, those who prey on the weak, I think it's time they had a taste of their own medicine. Am I wrong, Jean? Uh, I think she still can't get over what she just saw. N no? But why would you d do this? Because some people think they run the world. They think they're entitled to treating others like shit. I'm simply here to stop that. And save those like you. Here. Free glasses. Yeah, now she looks more like Jean. Th thank you. But... Who are you? I am called... The Gambler. Alright, and there we go. That is The Gambler. And the incredible overthrowing of the King of the World. Honestly, this is actually a pretty fun game. I actually enjoyed playing this, and it turned out being an origin story of, uh, well, I figured it'd be an origin story of the Gambler since, uh, you know, it's about Taylor becoming the Gambler. But I didn't know it would, uh, also include Gene and the origin story of how they, you know, came together, but now we know. Well, that's the, that's it for Yubi's games, and I'm still kind of sad that we're not going to be seeing any more of these. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody. This game is dedicated to Carpill. The music for the credits was a last minute edition, My Brightest Diamond by I Have Never Loved Someone. Or I got that backwards, it's uh, called I Have Never Loved Somebody by My Brightest Diamond. Thank you for playing, I hope you all learn from my pain and have a wonderful day. Oh shit, this was actually from a real life experience? Oh Yubi, my heart goes out to you. I still wish I had the chance to, you know, meet you in person. Shit, that sucks, man. I don't know what to say.